What's up guys, it's Brandon J, and I have a really special video for you guys. If you guys have been following the channel, you know that I have had one heck of a journey, and the whole time, as you can tell by the title, you, you know what's coming. Um, but I've always talked about how I want a real boat, and I've always talked about how I need a truck, and I've had a Mustang, and I put a kayak on a Mustang, and I put fishing poles in the Mustang, I had scuba tanks in a Mustang, um, and now, because of you guys, I have been able to make my, I mean, this is the best purchase of my life, um, but I've been able to buy my dream truck. So uh, let's take a look at her, man. This is it. This is the uh, 2012 Toyota Tacoma. It's the XSPX uh, model. And um, so this is her right here, man. This is my first ever truck. It's a four door. It's got leather interior. Um, I bought it. It was really clean and everything. Obviously, I've, I've had it for a week now. Um, but it's leather, it's four doors, everything's, I mean, it's, it's a great truck. Um, I wanted to do this video when I first got the truck, but I really wanted to just not worry about making a video and just enjoy it. Um, I've had it for a week now and it's been a blast. I've put a kayak in it. We've went kayak fishing. I've done, it, it makes my life so much easier. Um, and first off, I want to say thank you to you guys because without you, I wouldn't have been able to do this. So not only is this an investment in my channel and being able to go out on more adventures and it's gonna allow me to do more and unlock more uh, for me to do, but this is something I've wanted for a very, very long time. And I got the exact color I wanted. I got the exact model, the exact brand, everything. Um, and it's all thanks to you guys. You know, you guys supporting the channel has honestly changed my life very, very quickly to the point where I could um, go out and buy my dream truck. So. I'm super, super excited. I'm super thankful. And uh, me and Tristan, uh, Tristan's holding the camera right now. You can show the people your face, man. Go ahead and show them what's up. Show them what's up. What's up? <laughs> so, me and Tristan are actually out. Um, this is the first time I've ever took the truck out outside of the road. I mean, I've took it out to like the lakes and stuff like that. Me and Tristan have been doing some fun stuff, uh, just breaking in the truck, doing like fun truck type stuff. <laughs> we even went to Burger King and sat in the parking lot and ate uh, our Burger King in the tailgate just to like break the truck in. That was like one of the first days you got that it. Was the, that was the first day yeah. I got it, yeah. yeah. So I've never uh, done anything like this and I'm not gonna tear the truck up, but I've never been off-roading because I've always had a Mustang GT. So we're about to go have fun in the truck a little bit, but I am gonna ask you guys to stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm gonna talk about uh, a lot more meaningful stuff. Right now we're just enjoying the truck, but I'm gonna talk about what this really means, how I got to this point, and um, what's happening with the Mustang and the story behind all of that. So there's some really meaningful stuff in this video that I wanna share with you guys, very personal, uh, but I decided I wanna open up and share that. But before all that, we're gonna go uh, adventure in the truck, have a little bit of fun. It! It's gonna be a great time. This one doesn't seem that bad. It's not that bad. That's what everybody says. Oh, 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 oh there she is. Oh. There she is. <laughs> we got through that one. That one was fun. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody doesn't know what truck life feels like, it feels a little bit, feels a little bit like this. <laughs> Dude, I just feel like this is, I love, I love this part of truck life, this is phenomenal. <laughs> this is oh, here we go, this is our moment. This is go. our moment. Let's this is our go, moment. Oh go. god, oh here we go! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I feel so great about what we're doing. Like, yeah, we're off road and we're doing. And the minivan just went through it. <laughs> 
We're gonna need some bigger puddles. <laughs> dude, that was, dude, I love this truck. Wow. Gosh, man. I love this, dude. This is, uh, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this in my whole life. Like, I used to do stuff like this, like, with my dad. And so, uh, it's pretty exciting that, that we can come do this, man. I just want you guys to know that without your support, none of this would be possible. Like, literally none of this would be possible. Nine months ago, I was working full-time, going to school full-time, full-time student athlete. I had a Mustang GT, and I just enjoyed to be outdoors. And, um, since then, man, my life has changed. I'm living better. Um, I, I have something to really look forward to every single day. I have you guys all behind me. I'm able to be able to really chase my dreams, like wholeheartedly, just go after them and not be scared to go after them because I have all of you guys behind me supporting me. And, and that really means a lot. And I just want you guys to know like this, not only this vehicle, I mean, this vehicle is, is, you know, without you guys, I would not have this vehicle, but I also want you guys to know that without all of your support, I wouldn't be able to live my dream every single day. So this truck is like the living, uh, the tangible object that you guys can see. Like without you guys, I would not have this. Um, but the untangible thing that you can't see is, you, you probably will never understand that without you guys, I would never be able to chase my wildest dreams and be able to make them a reality. So I really, really do appreciate that. I had a blast, Tristan. Did you have fun? That was fun. All right, so I think we're about done off-roading right now. And uh, when we brought this truck out here, she was sparkling, dude. <laughs> she was so clean. I, I had it like full detailed and everything when I first got it. And uh, I, I kept it clean for about a week. I had to do it though, man. I mean, look at it now. It went from spotless to spots everywhere literally everywhere she's covered we got some work to do <laughs> you got some work to do i got some work to do <laughs> i gotta clean it up <laughs> i really feel like it looks like a real truck now i had a blast out here though it was a lot of fun i also hope you guys don't get the impression that I just don't care about the truck and that I'm out here just trying to tear it up because that's not the case. You know, I've never been able to do anything like this and the last time I was able to is, uh, you know, I, I used to do stuff like this with my dad and his truck. So kind of a cool memory I shared with my dad and to be able to come out here and do it myself is, uh, it's really nice. All right, so I had a great time out here in the truck doing a little bit of off-roading, but now we're gonna head back home and I wanna share with you guys some very personal things about what this truck means for me, what happened to the Mustang, uh, a little bit of the story behind the Mustang, and share some uh, very personal stuff with you guys and uh, to kind of show why, why this is such a big deal for me. So hope you guys stay tuned to the rest of this video. We're gonna head back to the house and uh, I'm gonna tell you everything when we get there. All right, so we made it back to the house and I said in the video that I wanted to open up about a few things, tell a little bit of backstory about why this is so important. So let's just go ahead and start off with how I ended up getting the Mustang GT. And um, I was in high school and I had a 2000 Mercury Cougar and um, I had a sport bike. And at the time my sport bike got stolen. So I got a check from my insurance company. Me and my dad actually used to ride bikes together. Um, I had a sport bike, he had a cruiser, that was like our thing, our way of bonding. Um, and he also got me into fishing. So me and my dad did a lot of things together, including you know riding the motorcycles together. He's also the one that got me into fishing uh, when I was very, very little. I, I wish I could find more pictures. Uh, they're probably like printed out pictures of when I was really, really little fishing with him. But, but here are a few pictures of you know some fish he caught, some fish we caught together. And uh, basically just showing, you know, my dad was a fisherman and that's what gave me the passion and really started off my whole fishing career, I guess you could call it. So long story short, I had the 2000 Mercury Cougar. That was my car. That was my very first car. And I had the motorcycle and the motorcycle got stolen. I got a check. And basically one day my dad called me and said, hey, come over. I got something you really would like. And so um, I was like, okay. And uh I, I drove over and he opened up the garage and there was the 2006 all black Mustang GT and I was blown away because I thought it was his car. I thought it was his car and um, he had a company truck because he had started a business so that's what he drove but I thought he bought a sports car but then I found out it was mine. 
Um, it was the car that he was going to give to me. Well, he, he wasn't giving it to me. He knew I had money because the insurance just gave me a, t a check for my stolen bike and I had my car. So he said I could sit in it, I could turn it on, but I couldn't drive it out of the driveway until I gave him the money that he spent on the car because he just got a crazy, crazy deal on it. Basically, long story short, um, a guy had some misfortunes and he was able to get the car for very, very cheap, way under value, buy it because he knew I'd be able to pay him back. So he said, once I pay him back, um, I'll be able to drive off. And basically I had all the money except I needed a little bit more. And so I sold my car, the 2000 Mercury Cougar in like three days I sold it and I gave my dad all the cash and then that's how the Mustang was mine. So I took a lot of pride in this car. I always took care of it and it served me well, it served me really, really well. And like I said, with me and my dad doing everything together, he ended up buying a 2006 Mustang GT for himself. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a picture of the car. I wish I did. When I dropped my phone in the lake like a year ago or so, I lost everything. I lost everything and they're not on social media so I wasn't able to pull up any pictures or anything. But it was a 2006 Mustang GT exactly like mine, racing stripes and everything, but his was like a mint green color. So anyway, we had matching Mustang GTs. I put brand new lights in mine and then I went and bought lights for his and it's like it was like something we did together. And um the reason why this was so special was because I was in high school at this point and um, I was a senior in high school I believe and um, my father was actually diagnosed with pancreatic cancer uh, my junior or, or senior year of high school and so it was the cars were like our thing we did together and something we could both like have passion about and essentially it just became our thing you know um he actually got more and more sick and wasn't able to really go out and do as much. So we didn't get to spend a ton of time with the cars more. Most of the time it was me cleaning up his car and sending him a picture of it while he was getting um, some treatment out in another part of the United States. So that's something he had to do quite often. He had to do a lot of traveling to get the proper treatment. And long story short, in um, 2013, after a year and a half of battling with pancreatic cancer, my father unfortunately passed away. He passed on February 8th in 2013, and that was the day my life pretty much changed forever. And it was hard, it was something that, something that I wasn't ready for. None of my family was ready for, nor my mom, nor my sister. Um, and it, it changed my life. Matter of fact, if you can see the Team Jordan banner on my wall, that was something we hung up um, for my dad, Marcus Jordan was his name. And um, we hung that up in the hospital or at my dad's house, wherever he was. Um, so when people came and visited, they could sign it and have a really nice note. And there's like literally over a hundred people that have signed it and wrote really nice things. And bringing this whole story back to the car, a few years after my dad had passed, you know, we kept the car, we kept it clean, we kept, you know, his car clean, everything nice. Um, but it, it just became to the point where we had to keep paying insurance on it and then it became a financial thing. And we all came to the agreement that it was gonna be best to, to sell the car to someone who could really use it. And um, so that's what we did. So then at that point, it was just my car left. The Mustang that I drove around, the Mustang I put a light bar on, a kayak on. And um, I, I took a lot of pride in that car and that car had a lot of very sentimental value to me. Um, a lot of emotional value because that was, you know, a, a gift from my dad and it had a lot of meaning to me. Now here's where the truck comes into play. Now, I don't want this to be sad. I don't want this to be an emotional video, but I do want to share these things with you because the story behind all of this, to me, it has a lot of meaning and I feel like I would be doing a disservice if I just showed you all the cool stuff and didn't tell you kind of the story that all this stuff came from. Now, what you saw in the video of me going out and off-roading in the truck, I say, you know, I did this. The last time I did this, I was with my dad. I remember 
oh my gosh, I was probably like seven or eight years old and I was playing like a Mighty Might Football League in 555 Bartow, Florida. If anybody knows where that is, like you know exactly what I'm talking about. They used to have these sand dune hills out there and my dad, he had a Ford Explorer, like sport track Explorer type thing. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, but he used to take me out on that. It was burgundy and he used to like rip into that sand and it was a blast. And that's basically what I wanted to do with my truck when I got it. And I've been wanting a truck for so long. I've been needing a truck for so long. And the fact that I was able to buy my dream truck and then go out and do something that I used to do with my dad, um, it was really, it was a special moment. You know, obviously getting rid of the car was a hard, hard thing for me to do. But after having it so long and um, the transmission failed on me twice, I put thousands of thousands of thousands of dollars into that car to keep her going um and she was just running downhill fast she was giving up on me and she did her job right the car did its purpose and and now it was time for me to move on to something else in life and that was the truck like I said earlier in the video it's going to help me do what I need to do it's going to unlock things for me to be honest I know if my dad saw this truck, he would freak out. He would absolutely love it. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope it wasn't too long. I hope I didn't drag it out too much, but um, I just wanted to share that. I thought it was really special. If you guys have actually made it this far in the video, thank you. I really, really do appreciate it. And um, I really want to share more stories and um, things like this in the future. If you guys like stuff like this and me implementing some of this in my videos, uh, just let me know in the comment section below. And I really want to start showing you guys who I am as a person, uh, what all I've been through, and just kind of opening up more. There's a lot to Brandon J that um, the camera hasn't seen yet, that you guys haven't seen yet. And uh, I feel like it's a, it's a, I feel like it's something that I'm really ready to share with you guys. So. Appreciate you guys watching and I really appreciate your support like I've said earlier in this video you know without you guys support I wouldn't be able to live my dreams and do what I love to do every single day so it does mean the world to me it really really does um, you guys have changed my life not gonna lie that was hard to not get emotional during that whole thing but um, I appreciate you guys for watching and uh, you guys have changed my life man thank you